What's going on everyone? It's Adam McGinnis, hit songwriter and producer. Most of you know me from being one of the co-producers and co-writers on the track Next Level by Espa. And today I'll be breaking down EXO song Love Shot. Now a lot of people have asked me to break this song down. So I figured, hey listen, I'm going to go through as many of these songs that you're asking for so that way you out there can understand the finer details that I'm hearing when I'm listening to songs. And I'm kind of basically reverse engineering the process as producers and songwriters will be doing when we are making these kinds of tracks. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, if you like seeing these song breakdowns, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, make sure your notifications bells are on, so that way you are notified every time I upload a video. I'm gonna try and do at least two videos a week, but like I've said before, as long as you keep giving me all this love and support, I'm gonna keep pouring these videos out here so that way you can learn and you can see what I'm hearing when I'm listening to these songs. That being said, let's get into it today with EXO song Love Shot. just standing on top of a gas station. All right, cool. So once again, they're grabbing attention within the first eight seconds, which they've done continually on all the songs I've referenced so far. But let's listen to what they're doing, because that's the important stuff. So check out the intro. That la 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 la. And I like how he's just on top of a gas station, just like hanging out. Um, <laughs> like like <laughs> this is where the party's getting started. Uh, or he's like the he's the uh, he's like the lookout. Whatever they're doing, if cops come, he can see them first. But listen to the the la 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 la. la. I'm going to assume they're going to use that later. Maybe maybe not. But that seems like it's such a hooky part that they would. Uh, but what's cool about it is that it seems like it's creating the rhythm. And then notice how they use a reverse vocal. Okay, so the sound that goes, ah, uh, that's a reverse vocal. We create that by actually taking someone sing, ah, uh, and then reversing it, and it goes, nah. All right, so that's really cool how they do it. Um, so listen to it, you're gonna hear the la, 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 ah. Uh, and that's a signify, a transitional element to lead us into the first verse. Check it out. A lot of stuff already going on. A lot of what is happening is happening in the percussion and happening in the underbelly of the track. So I want you to listen to the production and what they add. They're gonna add a hi-hat, they're gonna add a little percussive elements. <clears throat> We're not getting into lyric and melody yet because I want everyone to hear what's building on the underbelly. So notice in this first part, there's no hi-hat. There's no frequency in that middle range. But as they start to build sonic information, sonic tension, you'll start to hear the hi-hats and different frequencies in that middle part start to be introduced. See? Not there. Are they coming here. Okay, also really cool, listen to the harmonies that are being placed on these um, these background parts. I'm just gonna point them out so you can see where they're happening, but really interesting stuff they're doing already. So watch. Hear the high one? Oh my God, listen really closely. He's going, Listen to this note. I don't know if anyone was really hearing that. Play it, I'm gonna play it one more time. He's going, there's a background harmony going, Mommy, yes, so. Listen for that. Beautiful. 
Okay, cool. So, I don't know what they're gonna do, but I can tell you what they have been doing. That pre-chorus comes, they do a dropout, where all the music starts to be pulled out, so they have a chance to reinvigorate the listener by building tension on the back half of the pre-chorus. So most likely, what they're gonna do is drop everything out here, and if you listen carefully, it's it starts with a boom. There's like a door slam sound, and that's to show everyone, here's the pre-chorus. Most likely, they're going to add more sound to build up tension before the chorus hits. So let's check it out. Add music. See? Oh, that's cool. Okay, is that the same? Is that the same from the intro? I told you. So remember I said, they're most likely going to foreshadow some of the beginning and bring it back. Listen, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, make sure you go check them out because you'll see that I'm deciphering their coding. And that's the reason why I enjoy doing these breakdown videos because I've never heard this music before. But once I understand someone's coding of their song structure, I understand how to create them and I also know how to write for them and produce for them. So. Long story short, let's listen to that chorus. Um, we're also hitting it again before the one minute mark, which I always tell you is very important, especially if you're doing songs for radio. Uh, so let's see where they got. Okay, so what's happening that's really cool here? Most of the courses that I've seen from them are universal. This is very important, meaning you don't have to know the language to be able to sing along. Whenever something's universal, and it's something that everyone in the audience can sing along with, that means it's inclusive. That means it helps you to have more people at your concerts. If everyone can just say, it's the love shot, nah, 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 nah. Anyone can sing that. A two-year-old can sing that. A 60-year-old can sing that. Whenever you have a song that a two-year-old to a six-year-old can sing, boom, you got, you got it. You're, you're in the, the zone of being able to write hit songs because that means more people can sing them. Not saying that it's the best song in the world wins. It's the songs that the most amount of people can sing along with. And more importantly, they want to sing along with. Okay, so here's what's really cool about what's happening here. They're saying it's the love shot. I want you to hear the click click of the gun. They actually have a click click in the sound of it. So let's listen for that because I think it's clever. Right there. Okay, cool. So if anyone was watching my other videos where I talk about the power of three, they're using the power of three throughout this whole entire song, but I'm just gonna point it out here so that way you can hear it in the second verse. Um, so let's just look at their melodic structure. He's going. Whatever. That's three melodies in a row that have the same melodic structure, which is a power of three. It's the easiest way for listeners who don't know a song to be able to hook into the melody and feel like they can sing along with it. Because basically the first time is showing it to you, the second time is reinforcing it, and by the third time, you now can sing it. That's the trick. Cool. Okay, listen to the arpeggiated, um, it's like a, a mallet piano thing where it's like That's once again to build more tension before we most likely hit this pre-chorus. Listen how it comes in right here. 
right here. That's interesting. So this is a different kind of pre-chorus, which is definitely interesting. But notice what it's doing. If you were to remove the vocal and just look at it like an instrument, the vocal is creating percussiveness and syncopation that's going to rev up energy to bring it into the last chorus or into this next chorus. If you just looked at it as an instrument, like a drum, it would be going ticket to kakata, ticket to kakata, ticket to kakata, ticket to kakata, ticket to kakata. So basically building up this energetic currency that's going to flow into this chorus. Now listen on this time when they say it's a love shot, listen to the high harmony that's happening that I don't think was in the first chorus, but let me back up. Yeah, so listen to the first chorus, notice how there's no high harmony on the words, it's the love shot. Okay, so on that one, it went that I, I, it's the love shot. But on this one, it goes I, I, and they add the harmony. So let's listen to the second one. What is that from? There's something that that reminds me of, and I can't remember exactly what it is. But I will say this. Which thing I've noticed, that I did in the other songs, is they go to a section of their bridge a lot of times that has um, a theatrical, classical kind of energy. And that's what I would say is happening here. It's... It's almost like a cold play-ish on this part. People come and people go. <laughs> this is gonna be extremely detailed what I'm gonna tell you. And as a vocal producer, this is the kind of things that I'm looking for in artists when I'm working with them. Listen to how he ends the word go. It's gonna sound so minimal to you, and you might be like, what Adam? But listen to how he goes, people go. It's like a pop. These little details, these little ways of ending notes, ending phrases, is imperative when you're talking about being a strong vocalist. It's the way that you're starting words, it's the way you're ending words. So listen to how he says the word go, and you'll hear that crack, that little bit of pain. It's so sweet, but yet it's so perfected, okay? Check it out. People come and people go, People come and people go. The way he just did that, whew, so pretty. I'm gonna listen to it one more time because it's those little details that, that I enjoy as a vocal producer. People come and people go. Sesange mom chose no one. Mudiachi come jungle. I'm also going to say this for anyone who's watched my previous videos, listen to the delay. So the, 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 the I'm trying to say it, the delay that's being used on these words. So people come and people go, 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 dun, 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 stay, hey, hey, dun, 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 dun. So just listen for that now that your ears are awakening to it. People come and people go, Sesange mom chose no one. Alright, cool. So I'm gonna stop it there. If, if 
they are doing what they've done in other songs. As they build up to this ending chorus, they're going to do a higher vocal, and then they're going to most likely add ad-libs that go over the chorus. I don't know, but that's what they've done their other songs. So let's see if they use that same formula. Yeah. It's the love shot. Perfect example. And listen to the drum that goes do 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 or do 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 do. It's just to build anticipation for the next section. So as a producer, I have tons and tons of cool drum rolls and cool fills that I keep stock, so that way I can use them in different songs depending on what's needed. I want you to see that's what's happening here. It's like do 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 do. How's it going? Shot. Same time. Yeah. It's the love shot. Cool. All right. Once again, now this video, I don't know if it's as um, connected to all the other storylines. I'm not sure because I really have to dive deep because it's hard to do everything at once to watch the video, break down all the tracks, listen to the vocals, try to understand the language that I'm not fluent in and try to connect storylines. Maybe this one is really deep into storylines, but I missed it on first listen and first watching, but it didn't seem as it was as detailed as some of the other EXO songs that, that seem like they have more of a subliminal message going on that connects them to other uh, either groups or other uh, you know concepts that are more worldly, more in-depth. I don't know. Anyway, that being said, I hope you enjoyed this breakdown, this video breakdown and song analysis. If you like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure you're hitting that like button. Make sure you're supporting this channel if you can. It really helps us to build and do more videos for you. Uh, that being said, I hope you have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Give me some of that.